secrets left untested. My full name is Tenjin Genghis Khan Terra. It's a cool dragon. Alan Grant, from what I've seen in the script and movie and what Lee wanted, was that Alan is this solemn character who wasn't really high with his tone and very calm while all the other characters like especially Ellie is very ditzy <laughs> and um even Muldoon is just like it's exaggerated and then you've got me the one realistic character yeah very very normal and then so you normal. want to know about my character John Hammond do you? <laughs> so that's um, what you want <laughs> it's what you want no, John Hammond is rich and, well, for this production, quite handsome. And John Hammond, he's, he's the creator, the, the proprietor, the instigator of everything. Um, and then it all blows up in his face and he has to realise what he's done. And he's nearly killed his grandchildren, which I'm sure is only legal in Texas. And I'm playing Ellie Sattler, Dr. Ellie Sattler. Um, but we don't know why she has a PhD, because she's a complete idiot. I'm pretty much a walking sexist joke, so uh, it's fun. It's very fun, and um, I, yeah, I just seem to go along with everything that happens and enjoy it. My character is Ian Malcolm, made famous by Jeff Goldblum, and soon to be made famous by Alec Lewis. And uh, I am sort of this like laissez-faire, live and let live sort of guy, but uh, I feel that John. Hammond is uh, really messing with what I see as just uh, nature taking its course. Um, so I actually was not allowed to watch Jurassic Park the film until I was 15 um, because my parents thought I'd be emotionally scarred. The movie just took over my life. I was just like, this is exactly what I needed to see. I imagined dinosaurs before Jurassic Park. I imagined what they would be like. They were all in like books and pictures and, and school slides and stuff. And then Jurassic Park came out, it was the first time I saw someone try to recreate what a dinosaur would sound and look like and smell like. Right. Uh, the music is very music theatre, very comedy music theatre, so think, think Mel Brooks, um, but with some, what, what I can hear from just the piano arrangement, some rock elements, uh, quite a lot of rock. It's a, it's a happy medium between what I see is like really unashamedly kitschy, like, jazz hands, like, tour time, like, really just <laughs> cheesy musical theatre. And there's some nice, some nice ballads in there. It's so good and it gives us, like, so much creative freedom, I guess, in a sense. Oh yeah, just have that and you, like, change the melody. change the melody, melody for you, like, as you go. Oh yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Spamming the keyboard. Talented, just... talented man. Jurassic! That is one big pile of musical. Come see it, it's in the